Welcome to WIPLD video tutorial. In this presentation, we will compare different modeling methods a designer can choose when designing a microstrip circuit in WIPLD design environment. Modeling approaches will be demonstrated using a microstrip branch line coupler as an example. The branch line circuit comprises four microstrip transmission lines that are joined together through T-junctions. Adequate modeling of a T-junction discontinuity is critical to accurate design of the whole coupler circuit. The four methods of modeling will be demonstrated on the example project 302 microstrip branch line coupler included in installation directory. The circuit is ready to perform the analysis using ideal schematic elements. The circuit comprises four T-junctions. The frequency of operation is 3 GHz. For the comparison, the number of frequencies for the analysis will be increased to 21. The project should be saved under the name Ideal Schematic. Analysis can be started by clicking on the appropriate icon. After the analysis is finished, the branch line S parameters can be inspected by pressing CYZ icon. Since the modeling of T-junctions with ideal lines is insufficiently accurate, the built-in closed form models of microstrip discontinuities can be used next to improve the accuracy of the simulations. The circuit should be saved under the name Analytical Schematic. In WIPLD Microwave Pro, all of the ideal schematic microstrip elements can be changed by single mouse click. Primarily, all four of the T-junctions should be selected. Applying the option Change all the selected components to Analytical from the right-click pop-up menu, all four of the components are automatically changed to Analytical. After running the simulation, the results can be compared with previously run simulation. The difference between the two results is obvious. In order to achieve even better accuracy, full-wave electromagnetic analysis of T-junctions can be performed using WIPLD Pro. The feature can be seamlessly invoked without building an EM model. Instead of analytical, EM option should be chosen. Modeling of all the four T-junctions can be transformed from analytical to EM models following the similar procedure of converting schematic elements as described. The circuit will be saved under the name EM Schematic. After starting the simulation, WIPLD status window appears showing the status of the simulation. After the simulation is finished, the results can be compared with the results obtained previously using ideal and analytical schematic elements. Finally, to include all of the effects that can exist in the true microstrip layout, the EM analysis of the whole coupler microstrip circuit is required. To perform the analysis of the whole coupler circuit, an adequate model must be created first. In WIPLD Microwave Pro, a user is not required to create an electromagnetic model for a microstrip circuit starting from scratch. A powerful feature of WIPLD Microwave Pro can be used instead to transfer a schematic of a microstrip circuit directly to an EM model. To automatically perform the transfer, simply choose Schematic Export 3DM Model. In the Export to 3D EM Model dialog box, the user can define the width of the shoulder. 
Additionally, EM models of feeders required for de-embedding can be generated if the appropriate menu box is checked. The orientation of the elements can be selected to follow the one from schematic. By pressing OK, model generation starts. After it is finished, the status window appears, showing the location of the generated EM component. The component can be opened for analysis in WIPLD Pro by choosing File, Open EM Component. As demonstrated, for the example of the microstrip branch line coupler, generation of the EM component representing the whole coupler circuit requires only the circuit schematic used for the analysis with ideal, analytical or EMT junction models. The electromagnetic analysis is started by pressing the Run icon. After the analysis is finished, the obtained results can be compared with all previous results, using the Overlay option in Graphic Comparison. For the particular case of branch line coupler, the difference in S11 parameter for all four of presented modeling methods are not significant. However, for some other circuit, a choice of modeling option can lead to much larger differences. For an example, if the frequency of operation of a branch line coupler increases, the coupling between neighboring T junction will become significant. The comparison of the four modeling methods for a microstrip branch line operating at 8 GHz reveals that EM simulation of the whole coupler circuit must be used for highly accurate results. The user is advised to try all of the modeling options to find a compromise between analysis time and accuracy for a particular circuit of interest. Thank you for your attention. For further information, please visit our website.